everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to make a garlic mashed potato with fresh chives and fresh fresh parsley and um, this is delicious I do do this with no skins but feel free to do it with skins it's just that I have a daughter that doesn't like skins on her mashed potatoes but I think skins are great because it gives you um, a lot of nutrients, um, B12 being one of them. So um, let me show you how to make this recipe. It's very rustic. It's great for this time of year. And I am positive you're going to enjoy it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is um, some potatoes and these are obviously skins. So I'm going to take the skins off them. We'll wash them, clean them and take the skins off of it. And then you're going to need garlic cloves. And I have about mm, two, four, six, seven potatoes. Um, you can modify this any way you want, but I usually do one clove of garlic per two tomatoes. Potatoes, sorry about that, not tomatoes. So I'm gonna do about three to four garlic cloves. I'm gonna peel those, so let's do that. Okay, so I have a pot of water here and I'm gonna add, uh, whoops, add my garlic cloves that I'm losing here into my pot of water. I know, bizarre. And then as you can see, I've already peeled these. I got a few more to peel and I'm gonna dice them and throw them in the pot of water. And I'm gonna put this over the stove and I'm gonna just cook them until they're soft, basically. That's all I'm doing here. Um, there's, this is all stove top, super easy. And if you have like a holiday party or an event coming up and you wanna make these mashed potatoes, you can always, um, you know, make the potatoes and, you know, peel them, dice them in the garlic and then just store it in a glass container with water in the refrigerator overnight. And then you can add it to your pot the next day when you're ready to mash them. Or you can simply, um, boil them and get them soft and then put them in the fridge overnight and then you'll have to warm them up the next day so you'll have to warm them with your milk and your butter and then um, mash them and all that jazz and they'll be ready to go for dinner so mashed potatoes are very comforting and they're a wonderful way to get rid of you know some potatoes that you might have a huge harvest or whatnot and you can jazz them up but i always like to add garlic and chives and parsley to them and they just taste yummy um so here we are we're almost done with these peeled and we're gonna oops we're gonna dice them and then throw them in the pot of water okay these do not have to be perfect you just can slice them quarter them or cut them in eighths and then you're just gonna add them to your pot of water super simple super easy um and you can have this pretty much with anything um, I usually cook mashed potatoes several times throughout the fall and winter season just because it's a, you know, a family favorite. Everyone in the house likes it. I don't think there's a person that I know that doesn't like mashed potatoes. If there is, let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm going to get this pot going and cooking. And this takes probably about 20 minutes. So once it gets to a nice boil, it'll take about 20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid on and cook these. Okay, this is blazing. Um, I'm gonna test them with the fork to see if my potatoes are soft. And if they are, then we can start draining them and adding the butter and milk. And they are, so let's go ahead and drain and there's my timer. Let me know so I don't forget. Okay, so I drained the potatoes and I'm gonna add, woo, four tablespoons of butter, a half cup of milk and a teaspoon of salt so let me just go ahead and add that a half teaspoon of pepper and if you've been following me you know I pretty much use the same little mixture in all my recipes um, garlic powder this is garlic powder a teaspoon of that and onion powder so I use garlic powder onion powder salt and pepper I flavor everything with and then I'm going to get out my masher and start mashing this. You can also use your electric mixer too and it'll make it really creamy. So we're just gonna mash everything to combine everything and stir it as we do it and cream it off. So this is gonna take probably about a good couple of minutes. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba Ba-ba Ba-ba-da 
Pa-pa-da-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-p